Hey, I wanted to make a quick extra video finishing up some of the stuff that we had in our previous lecture on Tuesday that I didn't quite finish. So what we ended on last time was this was a relationship that we had between um, Lie group homomorphisms and uh, mappings uh, and then Lie algebra homomorphisms. So we had that uh, for any element in the exponential map, yeah, any thing that's in the image of the exponential map, we could write this rather than uh, the, a group homomorphism acting on it, we could write it as, as the exponential on the target Lie group, in this case, H. Uh, and then uh, phi being acted on by a linear map. And then this linear map is a Lie algebra homomorphism, and it satisfied this relationship here. And then we did not quite complete the proof last time. So the two relations that we are, have left to show, uh, that we have yet to show is this relation here, that if I apply small phi to, to uh, the adjoint map of some A, uh, apply to X, then that's the same as applying the large phi to the A, and then uh, phi of x. And I did not show that it's an actual Lie group homomorphism. Uh, so, the, sorry, the algebra homomorphism, that is that uh, the image of the a bracket is the same as first taking, uh, first uh, taking the, uh, applying phi to each x and y, and then taking the bracket. So um, in order to do uh, these, the, uh, these proofs, uh, then I need, uh, then I need first need the following statement that if X and Y at two different points are equal for one fixed T, uh, then that doesn't mean necessarily mean that uh, if their image on the exponential map is the same, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the same. But if they are the same for all t, then if this image is the same for all t, then x and y has to be the same. Right? So we've seen earlier that there are matrices. So when you take the exponential map, you get the identity without them being the zero matrix, right? Uh, but uh, if... Uh, if you show that they're the same for all t, then they have to be the same vector uh, in, in the Lie algebra or the same matrix in the Lie algebra. So let's uh, test out this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take e to the t to the thing here on this side, and we're going to show that that equals e to the power of t on this on the other side. So first, have t, uh, phi of this thing here, t can go on the inside, and then by the definition of what the relationship with this, uh, between uh, small phi and large phi, I can put this large phi on the outside, uh, then properties of the, uh, the exponential map say that conjugation, I can, in the exponent, I can put, take that down, so I get something like this. And I'm going to use that this is indeed a Lie group homomorphism, so I can take phi of each part. Uh, using again that this is the Lie group homomorphism, I can take this inverse and put it outside. And then again, using the definition of phi here to get small phi on top. Now, this here's an exponential, here's a conjugation. I can put that conjugation on top. And this is exactly the desired result, the adjoint map of uh, large phi of A applied to phi of here. This should be X. Right, so uh, here this completes uh, the first, first part of uh, the proof. Now for the second part of the proof, uh, if I have this identity here, if I use, uh, if I replace A with something that's in the image of the exponential map, I particularly get that if I have phi add e to the power of t, 
then this equals this thing here, since this is the same as add by large phi of e of uh, t x. So I'm just again using this definition of this relationship between large and small phi. And like here, then I'm using the property of the derivative. If I take this uh, add map, we've seen this before, this is a way to produce the exponential, um, it, to produce the D bracket. If we take, uh, yeah, T should probably be on the other side uh, here. Um, if we take uh, a, make the exponential here, take the derivative, uh, at time equal to zero, we get the small add map. Um, so that that means that here, if I take the derivative of this side and evaluate it at t equal to zero, okay, phi is a linear map, multiplying with y is a linear map. Uh, so I can just move everything inside and take the derivative here. And the result is small phi of the bracket. But then if I differentiate this other side here, this will then be uh, bracket of phi of x point, uh, and phi of y. So this shows that these two are equal, which uh, completes the uh, proof of the two cases. So that completes everything that we, uh, uh, we did not have, uh, we did not complete. And, uh, uh, let's just be ready for the uh, upcoming gap.